In the last hour, Ripta's CEO and board chairman just addressed reporters after the busing company announced it would temporarily reduce service across the state due to a historic workforce shortage. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie is live outside of Ripta's headquarters in Providence now with what she's learned. Well, Kate, RIPTA CEO Scott Avedesian said that the agency makes service changes at least three times a year, but says these changes are a direct result of struggling to competitively recruit new drivers. Avedesian says that for the past three months, RIPTA has been down drivers and says the agency is down about 30 drivers right now. We also learned nearly 60 drivers retired since the beginning of the pandemic. Avedesian says the staffing shortages will impact 19 of its 65 routes and that as a result, they will have to reduce trips, though not in the morning or at peak times. Also, that most routes will not see any change whatsoever, we're told. Those are set to take effect on October 22nd. So by changing the frequency, we're still putting all the service routes out there. It's just not as frequent as normal. And so that's a better option than just saying there'll be no service over here. Now, Ripta says in about two weeks on October 12th, it'll be hosting a job fair in an effort to get those drivers back and have enough on the roads so that it'll be able to get those affected routes back into full service and operation. Reporting live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.